Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style channel. And today we are going to talk about weekly stock market update for all major indexes. And we will we will figure out is it is it bullish or bearish? Let's do it. Let's do it. The simple trading style works for stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos. I do publish multiple videos daily. Please subscribe for YouTube channel, Telegram, and Discord community, and click like button to support the channel. Uh, let's move to uh, let's move to Vibull. Let's move to Vibull. If you want to learn about uh, Vibull setup and and all my other trainings in the the links all links links in the description. Let's start for uh, weekly, right? Weekly. Let me share you my setup. We will set up quickly. Moving averages, white line MA two hundred, purple line MA one hundred, uh, blue line MA fifty, uh, uh, yellow line MA twenty, red line MA ten, green line MA five. MACD indicator, red line signal line, uh, green line it's a MACD line. RSI, RSI indicator, uh, red line. Signal line, and green line, RSI line. Also, oscillator, red is bearish, green is bullish. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start weekly. Weekly for US dollar DXY. Weekly, it's a bearish trend. Bearish trend. Clear bearish trend. Kind of for last three weeks, and it's it's on the same level. It's on the same level. MA5 did bearish crossover over 20, right? Still, but it's far from MA20. Maybe, yeah, maybe it wants to bounce back to MA20. Weekly is still bearish on all indicators. Bearish on all indicators. Weekly. Daily, let's, let's go daily. Daily. Daily, it's kind of, yeah, it, it's kind of, yeah, bearish. Below MA200, MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 200. MA20 downtrend, downtrend, it's a bearish direction. Everything is in a bearish direction. But all indicators, they have bullish divergences. MACD histogram, bullish divergence. MACD lines, bullish divergence. RSI, bullish divergence. Awesome oscillator, bullish divergence. On daily, they all have bullish divergence. Weekly, they are bearish. On daily, they are bearish too, but they have bullish divergence. Bullish divergence is on all indicators. They want to change direction to bullish. And it will be bearish for market. Let's move to Apple. Let's move to Apple weekly. Apple weekly. Apple weekly it was bearish and it is still bearish, MACD is still bearish, histogram is still bearish, but it's ready for bullish signal. RSI is still bearish, ready for bullish signal. Also oscillator, already bullish. For last four weeks, it has green green uh, green light, green light, green bars, right? It's ready for bullish. Ready for bullish? <coughs> yeah, weekly. It's, it's a bullish. It's a bullish, strong bullish signal for Apple weekly. Still, yeah, MA5 did bullish crossover. Did bullish crossover. It touched MA20 and kind of sits below MA20 for last several weeks. For last yeah, four weeks. Ready for bullish. Ready for bullish. Let's check daily. Daily it's already bullish, right? Daily is already bullish, but it's ready for bearish crossover. MA5 ready for bearish crossover over 10. It has gap. It can move up, close the gap, and move down uh, move down to close this gap below. On MACD, still bullish trend, bullish. Signal, RSI bullish signal, also oscillator already red, bearish. Okay, that's all. 
Let's move to Qs. Qs weekly. Qs weekly bullish trend, MACD bullish crossover, RSI bullish crossover, also later bullish. Last, uh, yeah, MA5 did bullish crossover. It kind of bounced from MA200, but it touched MA20. Maybe it will bounce from MA20, I don't know. It's like for three weeks, it's between MA20 and MA10. Kind of flat, right? Kind of flat level for the last three weeks. But on MACD, still bullish, still bullish. Let's see what, let's see daily, what's going on on daily. On daily, it's still bullish. Still bullish. On MACD, on RSA, and also later, still bullish. The last bar above my 5, 10, and 20, and 50. It's kind of between two gaps. I don't know if it can go, if it can, if, if it can move up in this case to close this gap. I think not, not now at least because next week it will, it will go bearish. Still bullish, still bullish, but it has gap below. Still has, it's like in, it's in, in the middle, in the, in the middle between two gaps. And cannot make decision for several days. It's kind of flat. It has bearish divergence, right? Uh, uh, no, not really, not really, not really. Okay, still bullish, still bullish, on daily and weekly for Qs. VXN, VXN weekly, VXN weekly bearish, bearish trend. It touched the May two hundred. That's what I mentioned. It wants to touch the May 200. Touch the May 200. And now maybe it will bounce from it, like here. It did touch the May 200 and bounce from here. Touch the May 200, bounce from it. Let's see. Still bearish. Bearish trend on all uh, on all indicators. Daily. Daily still bearish on all indicators daily. Has bearish divergence on MACD histogram and awesome oscillator. Bearish divergence, bullish divergence, sorry, bullish divergence, bearish trend with bullish divergence. Okay, VIX still bearish on weekly and daily, it's bullish for Qs. SPY, SPY weekly, SPY weekly is still bullish, still bullish, and last bar above May 5, 10, 20, and 200. And it did bullish crossover on MA5 over MA20. That's bullish trend. Bullish trend. Bullish trend on all indicators, right? Weekly bullish on all indicators. Maybe it wants to go bullish to MA, touch to MA50 and 100 and bounce from it. Like here it bounced from MA50. Let's do daily. Let's do daily. Daily also bullish. Bullish on all indicators. Last bar touched the May 200. May 200 strong. It can bounce from May 200. May 200 downtrend. You see downtrend. Downtrend. Still bullish on all indicators. But remember 200 still very strong. Strong resistant. Huge gap. Huge gap also above the current. Like $4 gap. $4 gap. Maybe. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, it's like two two uh, two kind of cases can be. It uh, it bounce usually it can bounce from uh, from uh, two hundred and gap and the gap, or it can close the gap and bounce from it. That's how it can work. It can be one day kind of green, green, move up, close the gap and move down. But it should be very strong mood green day. Volume, volume is decreasing, right? Look at it, we are, it's kind of uptrend. Volume is a downtrend. Volume is a downtrend. Uh, histogram downtrend also. Also, also later downtrend also. Kind of bearish, bearish divergences on multiple indicators. Still bullish. Weeks, weeks weekly. Weeks weekly. 
Berish. Bilo ima i 200. Bilo ima i 200. Bilo ima i 200. Berish. Daily. Daily it's bearish on all indicators, right? Bearish on all indicators. With bullish divergence only on histogram, on MACD histogram. Still bearish. It's a bullish for SPY. Dow Jones, Dow Jones weekly. And remember, I, we don't trade on weekly. We don't trade on monthly. We do swing trading. We do, we do use four hours and daily time frame. For daily trading, we are using 5 minutes, 15 minutes and 1 hour. Okay, uh, weekly, we just observe the weekly and monthly just direction. But for, for investors who invest for the long term, for the long time, for, um, for years, weekly and monthly is absolutely a great, great uh, time frame. Even, even if you are like kind of a swing trader with the long term, right? Here, look at it. This, this stuff was, right? It closed and moved down for the last two, three, four, five weeks. For one and a half a month. It works, yeah. Same here. It moves up, right? It moves up for the last 10, 10, 10 weeks. Okay, let's move. Weekly, weekly bullish, right? Bullish, great bull run, bull run on all indicators, bullish trend, bullish trend, bounce from May 200, very far from May 20, right? Usually you remember when it's far from May 20, it goes back to May 20. Far from May 20, goes back to May 20. Same here, far from May 20, it will go to May 20. And close this gap below. On weekly, on weekly, it's definitely close. It, it will close all gaps on weekly. Okay. Bearish. I'm sorry, bullish. Bullish on all indicators. Daily. Daily, it's also bullish on all indicators. But MACD wants to do bearish crossover. And it has... And it has... Uh, Bearish divergence is on all indicators, right? Histogram, RSI, RSI, kind of no. Ah, uh, long term, even on long term, yeah. Bearish divergence, bearish divergence is bullish trend. Bullish trend, it wants to go bearish. Let's see, next week, it's far from 820. Next week, it can go down to, to touch the 820. We'll see. Bullish trend on daily and weekly. VXD, VXD, weekly, volatility index for day, uh, for down, bearish trend, bearish crossover, bearish direction, it's at, at the level MA200 and 150, it's kind of strong level, MA5 did bearish crossover over 20, it's bearish, weekly bearish trend for VX, VXD, bullish for Dow, daily, bearish trend for all indicators, and uh, it's, a, it's, a bear, it's a bullish for Dow. May 5, May 20 did bearish crossover, bearish trend, bearish trend, and bullish for Dow. Let's move to IWM weekly, Russell 2000. Russell 2000 weekly bullish trend on all indicators. The last bar, did, yeah, above my 10, 5, and 20, and 200. Touched to my, my 50 last previous week. Maybe it, it, it is a bounce from it. Still bullish, still bullish on all indicators daily. Daily, it's about above May 200, about all moving averages. Still bullish on all indicators. MACD wants to go bearish. Bearish divergences on on the histog on the volume. Uh, yeah, still bullish, but it wants to go bearish. MACD already ready to do bearish crossover. Ready to do bearish crossover. Be ready for it. 
Okay, let's do summary. Summary. Uh, summary the all indexes. All indexes still bullish on weekly and bullish on daily. Still bullish. They have bearish divergences, but still bullish on daily and weekly all wind indexes. That's all. If you want to learn more about it, just go to the description. There are several, several links to all my trainings. You can go and learn. And uh, disclaimer, please, uh, please read it, please review it. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. And uh, let's move to my last page. Thank you for watching Simple Training Style video and it works. The style, the Simple Training Style works for stocks, ETFs, crypto, uh, options, any security. I do also publish updates for cryptos, for other ETFs. Please subscribe for the YouTube channel, Telegram and Discord community and click like button to support the channel. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.